hi guys welcome back to the next chess video tutorial and in this seventh video tutorial we are going to learn how we can create the server side clean url all right so in the last video we will learn how we can create the clean url with the url masking when you click on the url it will uh, go to the url which is uh, looking very clean uh, but you are when you are it's just refreshing it will go to the 404 page the reason being because this URL is not actually uh, have the server side URL that's why it's going on that alright so how we can handle this so okay for uh, make the server side actual clean URL we need the express.js alright so first of all I'm just going to search here next JS and uh, it will going to land on your uh, nextjs.org let's go to the learn why i'm just going to on the with this website because there is already code which is the placed here so we can use this code and save the uh, time to do the code in the manual all right so here you can see that the server side support for clean url all right so when you go in this it will already tell you that uh, let's go on the next uh, we have to use the express okay so just copy this command and you can directly install this so just make it clear and it will take some moments to install and after that we have to create the server.js file okay so i'm just going to curve uh, creating a server.js file on the root model okay this file should be on the uh, root folder not on the actually inside the pages okay so let's check okay so access to js it's installed now so now what we have to do we can just copy this code here i will tell you the meaning of every line here but first of all we have to copy this code smaller okay and paste it here now you will see that uh, let's check the uh, every code okay but uh, this is not actual code uh, I'm going to int uh, 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 doing one more code that we have to add okay so I'll just go on the next screen we have to add the this server side code also so i will tell you that this meaning of this code also so just copy the code this here also okay so now let's understand the uh, uh, meaning of this code okay so after the installing dot uh, express js so we have to import this express so you can use the import as well as the required it's uh, totally up to you okay so we use the uh, we use existing code that's why it's we are going to use that uh, the required after that we have to use the next also then we have to use uh, tell that the ul should not be on the production we have to use this line and we got the uh, app function exported in uh, from the next and we have to uh, use the uh, from the app we have to use the cat request handle and it will going to handle the request and the app there is a total object which will have the prepare function then there is a uh, a promise for the hand, uh, to resolve this we have to write the uh, then function and then after that we have to use the express okay this express is uh, totally come from the here one all right now what we have to do we have to uh, check the uh, server request when we get the uh, get request on the server from p and there should be an id it will uh, actually check the post request and it will check that the query sh uh, should be the title all right that means the url should be look like um, okay so the url will look, look like like this the post this is the page which is coming here and the query string is title this is the title one is here okay this is also coming here okay and after that it will handle the all of the request that means uh, that we uh, belongs to the star okay and uh, the request should be come from the 300 3000 
server port all right otherwise if there is an issue then it will uh, give us the uh, error here all right so everything is uh, explained here so now just get back here and just go to the previous page now you have to actually add these line on the uh, package.json and you can just simply replace here so just copy the server from here all right so now you can see that it will just uh, everything is fine but it will just check the node server.js and uh, the uh, node environment should be the production node server.js it will going to check here all right so now everything is fine so now just uh, restart your uh, dev environment and after that we will just simply check here is it working or not so let's check now okay it's working just try after the refresh now all right it's still working that means this approach is going to work all right so we use this so it's not always actually required that you have to always use the express you can use uh, any other framework or your custom code for the handle the actual uh, url and the query stream uh, query parameter that can be handled on that url all right so this is all about how we can handle the clean url on the server side so thanks guys thanks for watching this video if you still have any kind of issue you can ask me in the comment box don't forget to subscribe this channel thanks again